Hello and welcome back to my channel or a welcome if you are new. If you are new, my name is Danny and I create content on all things green beauty. So today's video is super exciting because it is episode two of a new series that I have created on my channel called Let's Dupe It. And in this series, I'm going to be showing you guys a clean alternative or dupe for a conventional product. It can be makeup, skincare, just pretty much anything clean beauty. If you want to check out the other Let's Dupe It video that I did on my channel so far, um, I will have a playlist for the Let's Dupe It series. Also, I'll have that video linked in the description box below. Um, but anyway, before I get started, I do want to say if you are new, I would absolutely love it if you would join my clean beauty community and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss it when I post new videos. All right, so obviously, by the title, you know that today's Let's Dupe It video is going to be a clean alternative to the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So the It Cosmetics CC Cream was one of my absolute favorite foundations when I was using Conventional Beauty and before I switched to Clean Beauty. And I actually kind of transitioned to Clean Beauty when I discovered some of the ingredients that were in the cosmetic CC cream and that just made me realize you know to pay more attention to the ingredients in other products as well um, so that kind of helped me on my journey to switch to clean beauty if you hear some noise in the background it's my pet chinchilla his name is buddy he's um, making a little bit of noise but anyway if you hear that noise that's what it is. So the dupe that I have found for the It Cosmetics CC Cream is the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin. So this is like a tinted face sunscreen. Um, it's called their Impeccable Skin Moisturizing Face Sunscreen Mineral Matte Tinted Coverage. And this has a blue light protection, it's vegan, it's for all skin types, and it's oil and silicone free. And it has a broad spectrum of SPF 30. Um, and the It Cosmetics CC Cream has SPF 50, but 30 is really good. You don't really need a whole lot more than 30. Um, 50 doesn't protect a whole lot more than 30 protects. So that's just kind of something to note, but I mean, it's still important to have some protection. It's good that these do have an SPF of 50, but an SPF of 30 is still really great. So. I have both, um, I have two versions of the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is their original one and then also their Illumination one. I feel like this is still a great dupe for both of these because I feel like these products are very similar. So I feel like this is still, you know, a great dupe. It's not just one or the other. I feel like since these are so similar, this is a great dupe for both of them. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit of information from the EWG Skin Deep website. If you don't know what that website is, is is it is a website where you can look up products and see their ingredients it gives products a rating um i believe it's from like one to eight um it might be higher than that but um it gives you ratings based on how clean the products are um, and then it also tells you about the ingredients that are in the products and um, why they might be potential, potentially harmful and just a lot of great information like that. On the EWG Skin Deep website, I looked up the it Cosmetics CC Cream and it says that the overall hazard is moderate, but it has some other ratings in here that are higher, which makes it seem like it could be a higher than moderate um, issue. But anyway, so... It lists um, overall hazard, cancer, developmental and reproductive toxic toxicity, allergies and, immu and immunotoxicity. So um, for cancer, it has it within the low range, but it's still in there, which is like, no, like I don't want that to be in there. But the one that really threw me off was the de developmental and reproductive toxicity because that is all the way on high. Like it is at the highest amount all filled in that that could be a problem with this product which was a huge concern for me because I have hormonal acne and I didn't realize that this could be messing up my hormones even more and just causing more problems so I was so sad to figure this out but I was shocked and also relieved to discover that because I was using this product a lot this was the main foundation that I would use and you know you got to be careful because the products that you use on your skin does absorb into your bloodstream so I was very 
concerned when I saw that and I immediately was like, no, I need to pay more attention to the products that I'm using because this, that's not good. And for allergens and immunotoxicity, I don't know if I'm saying toxicity right. I apologize, you guys. I've been pronouncing toxicity wrong the whole time. I don't know why I was pronouncing it the way I was, but it's pronounced toxicity. For allergens and immunotoxicity, that one is in moderate so it's not low it's moderate so it's kind of in the middle still not good and then it does list in detail the ingredients that are problematic now the one that looks like it's of highest concern is the ingredient retinol palmitate which is a which is a vitamin a palmitate and it's rated a score of nine that's not good. You want the, the score to be around a one to three or zero to three or one to three. That is the best range. You know, four it four to like five or six is kind of like the middle of the road, still not great, but not the worst. And then anything higher than six is not great. And that one ingredient that's in here is rated a nine. So that's not good. And the reason is it says it says for concerns, use restrictions, developmental and reproductive toxicity, biochemical or cellular level changes, cancer, organ system toxicity, non-reproductive. And then for the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin on the EWG Skin Deep website, this is rated a one, which is great. And then when you look at all of the ingredients, they um, the individual ingredients have either a score of one or two. Most of them are a score one, and it looks like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So five of the ingredients are rated a two, which is still really good. So this is definitely much better as far as ingredients um, than the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Besides just telling you that it's a great dupe, I want to show you how they look on the skin. I am wearing them both right now. So I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and do a demo for you guys so you guys can really see the difference between them and really be able to compare them. All right, so I'm gonna put the It Cosmetics CC Cream on this side and then I'm going to put the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin on this side. So I will start off with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And normally I would not want to be putting this product on my skin anymore just because of the ingredients. Um, but for the sake of this video, I want to really show you guys the difference and you can really compare them. So I'm going to just dot this on my face. I'm using my phone as a mirror. Um, I'm just going to dot this all over this half of the face. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend it in because that's how I normally would blend this in. So that's what I'm going to do here. A very little bit of this, but even with that, I still feel like it provides really nice coverage. It's very dewy and um, the I have the illumination version as well and I feel like it's really pretty similar to the original It Cosmetic Seeds Cream except for it has a little bit of um, not chunks of glitter but it has a little bit of more luminosity to it. It has little very very small like I don't want to say sparkles but kind of like sparkles but not obvious sparkles does that make sense i don't know if it makes sense but anyway it's a little bit more luminous um but honestly i still think it's pretty similar so i'm just gonna put a little bit more on to show you how i would normally use it when i used this foundation i do have quite a bit of blemishes right now to cover up so you'll just be able to see how this does I do have a review of the A Cosmetic CC Cream on my channel before, from before I switched to Clean Beauty. So if you're interested in checking that video out, I will have that linked in the description box below if you just wanted to see that review video of it originally. So here is the A Cosmetics CC Cream side right here with it and then without anything on the side. I'm gonna use the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin on this side. And normally I don't use a sponge to blend this in or a brush, I just use my fingers because I feel like that's just the quickest and easiest way. So I'm just taking a full pump of this. Although, probably shouldn't have done that since I'm just doing half of my face. Normally I use a full pump for my whole face, but 
we're just gonna go with it so I usually use my fingers to blend this in just because I feel like it's the best way to do it I feel like a sponge absorbs the product and I don't normally like to use brushes all that often to apply foundations just because I feel like it can look more cakey that way so a sponge is normally the way to go or my fingers um, so I'm just gonna blend this in how I normally would See, it does give pretty decent coverage. Definitely, I think that the CC cream does give a little bit more coverage, but I think that this one isn't too far off. Like, it's pretty good. Like, pretty good coverage. And you can just, you can add more too if you want to build it up even more, which I will do that to show you guys. the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin is a very luminous type of product and at least for me it is I have a combination acne prone skin and it normally does get a little bit oily on me it's advertised as being matte it's it says matte it, wow I can't speak okay it says mineral matte tinted coverage on here so it's marketed as being a matte type of coverage but it looks pretty luminous like look at that I'm kind of shining <laughs> so there is the comparison I feel like I have a little bit more blemishes on this side to cover up um, so you can kind of take that into account as well but here we are so we have it cosmetic CC cream on this side and the Suntegrity impeccable skin on this side and I'm just gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can hopefully see what they look like are pretty similar honestly and this one doesn't have those questionable and not so good ingredients so that is I just think that this is a fantastic dupe all right so I'm just gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then I will talk to you guys a little bit more about these products so I just finished putting on the rest of my makeup and now I want to do some more comparisons for you guys so this is what they look like remember this is the side with the it cosmetics CC cream and then this is the side with this integrity impeccable Skin. so I feel like they actually look quite similar and you know putting this on and really like seeing side to side what they look like I don't feel like I'm missing out like I feel like this is a great dupe like I really don't feel like I'm missing out at first when I realized that I wanted to stop using the cosmetics CC cream I just thought that I wouldn't be able to find something that would be able to do the same things and give the same amount of coverage and look great but this works so good and honestly this is so easy to use I like that I just apply it with my fingers I mean you can do that with the cosmetic CC cream as well um, but I feel like this is super easy to use and also I do feel like the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin actually feels a little bit more lightweight on the skin. They both they both do feel pretty lightweight, but this one I do feel like feels a little bit more lightweight, which is great. Feels like you have less product on your face. And I feel like they both have a somewhat dewy finish to them, which I personally like. I feel like it helps the skin to look natural and just luminous and healthy, which is a look that I really like. Um, but I do have combination skin, so my skin does kind of get a little bit oily throughout the day. It is a little bit dry sometimes too, but either way I'm saying like if you have dry skin it might not even get oily on you um, but I just find that it gives a nice luminous look to the skin and actually one um, when I first started wearing this one of my co-workers which is a guy actually he said that my skin looked really good and it looked really smooth and I was literally just wearing this like nothing else just this and he was like wow your skin looks really smooth and nice and I was like Thank you, I'm just wearing a tinted sunscreen. Oh, also, if you're curious about the shades, I have the shade Light for the It Cosmetics CC Cream and then I have the shade Buff for this Integrity Impeccable Skin. So as far as how long they last, you know, I think the It Cosmetics CC Cream does last longer, but I do think that the Impeccable Skin still does last pretty good. Also, I wanna mention, 
You know, the It Cosmetics CC Cream is basically a foundation. It's called the Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. And the Impeccable Skin is, it's a moisturizing face sunscreen. So it's not, it's not technically a foundation, but still it has good coverage. So I just kind of want to explain that. So it's not, it's not a foundation. So it kind of makes sense that it doesn't last as long. And with sunscreen, you know, you're supposed to apply it every like two hours or something like that. And let me see what it says. It says... Do, 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 do. apply liberate okay yeah reapply at least every two hours so yeah this is something that you're supposed to reapply every two hours so it makes sense that it doesn't last super long on the skin now um i don't think that you have to reply reapply it every two hours if you're just kind of using it for um some coverage but as far as sun protection, of course, you need to reapply every two hours. But I think that it still lasts on the skin longer than that. It definitely does get more faded and kind of, you know, fade off throughout the day. It doesn't last as long as the It Cosmetics CC Cream. But I still think it's great. I still love using it. It's not like a foundation, but I think that it gives great coverage and it kind of works like a foundation. I have acne prone skin, so I do have things that I want to cover up, and I do think that this does a great job at covering those things up. I think that this is great for every day, because on an everyday basis, I don't really normally want to have a whole lot of coverage on my face, but this still does give really good coverage, and I feel like it does what I would want for a day to day basis. Now, if you have like great skin then I think that you would definitely really like this because it gives a great coverage but then again if you have great skin you don't really need as much coverage or you might not really want as much coverage so I think that that is really all that I have to say about them overall I think that this is a great great dupe for the it cosmetic CC cream I don't feel like I'm missing out I think that this does great I think that's great. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys all liked it. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content and wanna see more videos like this, the Let's Dupe It series where I talk about clean beauty alternatives to conventional products, um, and also just other clean beauty content um, from me. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss it when I post new videos. Also, I would love it if you guys would join my clean beauty community on Instagram. I would love it if you would go and say hi to me over there. It is the same name as my YouTube channel name, which is Routine Beauty with three Ys. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye guys.